This was our night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, except for a mouse. Well, a hamster. The stockings were hung on the staircase with a rope. Even the bathrooms were decorated with holiday soap. The children were snuggled asleep in their bed. Except for Dylan, who was probably watching Spongebob instead. Owen, stop! I'm telling a story! Now where were we? Aha! Mom in her PJs with her big glass of wine had just passed out on the sofa while watching Dateline when suddenly from the backyard there rose such a clatter. What's that? I checked on the ring cam to see what was the matter. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a strange looking man in a furry reindeer. He pointed and shouted, Hurry up already and do your business. I have gifts to place under the tree before Christmas. I heard the door open, so I snuck downstairs quick. For surely this must be good old Saint Nick. He was dressed in a red hat, and he wore a red sweater. I would say he was fat, but I think I know better. He didn't have a full white beard, like they say. It just kind of looked like he hadn't shaved in a day. He got busy placing gifts under the tree, beautifully wrapped box after box for my brother and me, and a couple for Mommy and Daddy. He sighed and he groaned, and he twisted and twerked, and he cried out, Christmas sure is a whole lot of work. Then he turned to the stockings, and he looked kind of mad. And I realized it wasn't Santa at all. It was Dad! He yelled, What are you doing sneaking down here so late? Don't you know Santa can see you're awake? Get back to bed. Get under your covers. Up the stairs, back to sleep, both you and your brother! us back in and gave us a kiss and joked you'll get coal if you keep acting like this then he turned out the lights and as he went out of sight I heard him say Merry Christmas my boys and to all a good night